On today's episode of Cheap Chinese Batteries, this is a server rack battery, and usually they're $900 to $1,300, but last week I bought this one for $549, and it wasn't on Timu, this was on Amazon, which is crazy. And last week I got scammed by Timu, but guess what? I got all my money back for that battery. I hope I can get all my money back for this because I did a capacity test and I got 88 amp hours. They tell you 100 and you get 88, which isn't that bad, right? I mean, you're getting almost 90% of the capacity. It's super cheap, but guess what? The voltage was very low. So low, in fact, that on the sticker, it says that the usable is 37 volts to 54. So I did another test. I used a 6,000 XP with a shunt and I got 73 amp hours because the usable voltage range with this cell configuration, which is like a 14 or a 15S, which means most 48 volt inverters cannot use this capacity because the voltage is too low. And that means there's gonna be more current and it's gonna run at a higher temperature. Also, you can't use this battery in parallel with other common batteries. 99% of 48 volt lithium iron phosphate batteries on the market have 16 cells in series. This one does not. So that means you can't use this with other batteries in a system. Next, the terminals are ridiculously small. I had to cut this one because I couldn't even fit a two aught gauge cable. But the breaker is rated for DC, which is actually good. Now this battery has security bits. What are they trying to hide? Actually not that bad. 13, 14, 15 cells. There's missing a cell. Why would they have this empty space? They should just make it a 16S pack. The bus bars actually look good. There's a little bump right there so it can expand and contract. There's insulation, there's fiber board between the cells. There's some degree of cable management. This is better than what we've seen lately. And there's temperature sensors. And this BMS has inductors, so it probably can throttle the charge current to 10 amps, like the more expensive server rack batteries. But they have bad cells. These do not pull the full capacity. What a bummer. I've never seen this good of a build quality at this price, but with horrible, horrible cells. The BMS is incredibly nice, too, for the price point. I'm actually blown away right now. Balance wires are soldered on. That's not good. Overpressure relief valves are not obstructed. Usually on the budget builds, they are. Also, this BMS did not like to wake up. I would connect it to other batteries. I would start to charge. I would disconnect it, connect the charger and it would shut itself down. So I think they programmed this kind of weird. I'm pretty disappointed here because this is almost a good battery. If they had good cells and they used 16 of them like they're supposed to and use larger terminals, this would be good for the price, $549, that's crazy. But they had to skimp out on the last cell. I mean, how much are they actually saving with that, with how cheap these cells are? Even if they sold it for $600 and they threw that cell in, it might be a good battery. But yeah, it's not because it doesn't pull the advertised capacity. So these cells are probably used because 88 is horrible. And that's not what your inverter is going to get. You're actually going to get 73.4. That's the best I pulled on a 6000 XP. And that's at the lowest voltage setting it has. Now I'm going to try to return it because it does not pull full capacity. So Timu, I got all my money back. Let's see if Amazon does. Some things on Amazon you have to be careful of because in the listing, it will say we do not accept returns all sales are final everyone thinks that everything on amazon always has a 30-day return policy it doesn't please read the fine print oh this is a jbd bms and it's for 16s configuration why don't they add the cell you guys bought the expensive bms you have all these cell holders and fiber board but you leave the last cell out like how much can you possibly be making from that just put the cell in there and <laughs> charge 600 instead You'll beat everyone. I don't understand the logic. So yeah, I hope you liked the video and I will see you in the next one. Bye